Well, it looked like our last attempt to record this thing was, uh, well, had no audio. So I guess if you can hear me now, you're actually listening to me talking live. Hey, this is Jammin' Jamie from Jammin' Leather. Just want to share with you a few things about Jammin' Leather. One of the things I wanted to talk about today is the difference between the leathers. Now, a lot of people ask questions like, what's the difference between the leathers? Well, if you hang with us for a little bit, I, I want to share with you the difference between cowhide, buffalo, sheepskin, lambskin, and maybe deerskin too. Sure, what, what not, why not? I got Ryan here to help me. Say, hey, Ryan. Hey, well, we were just doing a silent film. That's what we were doing. Oh, you know, we it was an art piece. I didn't know we were doing silent film until until we finished. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for filling us in. So mm -hmm. we're here on live, and we want to share with you some of the things that we have. We know we've had a few markdowns lately, and not only that, we have a, a discount coupon online too right now, 15% off, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, you since the, the audio issue, you know, we might yeah. give out something. We have to give away something for free, like 15% off your purchase. So what's that code there, Ryan? It's 15P424. 15P as in 15%. 424, just so you know, not 5 Okay, so check that out. Put that cute code on. on. If, you, if you don't subscribe to our emails, you won't see that code printed anywhere. But if you do subscribe, you might actually catch that code. It's going to be available for the next couple of days, maybe through the end of the month. So take advantage of that deal, 15% off uh, store-wide, including the discounts that we have right now. We also have some great deals out there on our website, don't we, Ryan? Oh, that's right. We have the uh, $50 jacket deals that we just started. <laughs> I almost forgot about the 50 50 bucks for a leather jacket. Where else can the world can you get a jacket for a leather jacket for 50 bucks? Now, granted, you can buy a leather jacket from department stores all over the country, and it will not be real leather. Right, Ryan? That's right. You know, our jackets are real leather. We have our $50 jackets are 100% genuine leather. Not to mention that we are giving them away because they're at or below cost. And we want to make sure to take advantage of it because we got some leftover inventory from 2023. 2024 is here and we have to get some new stuff in. So check out those discount sale jackets that are available. Now, I know you where you can find those $50 jackets. All you have to do is go to look for the word sale. Drop down the sale uh, options and you'll see jackets. When you do the sale jackets, you'll see all the $50 jackets right up front on top of that selection. If you go to sale, you'll see a lot of things that we have on sale, but not the $50 jackets will be not in your face until you scroll through it and you got to look through past 100 things, you know, that kind of thing. So you don't want to do that, do you, Ryan? Yeah, well, it's on our shop.jamletter.com website that you look for sale. You know, I, when I looked, you know, I saw some of the $50 jackets right there on the first page. So well, they'll be on the first page, but there's about 15 or so jackets that are right now 50 bucks. We have a lot on sale for $99. As a matter of fact, we have a couple of $99 jackets. We're going to share with them right now. Right, Ryan? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so for 99 bucks, let's see what we got here at Jam and Leather. Some great, great deals. Let's start with one. What do you got there, Ryan? I got the uh, Women's Tan Genuine Sheepskin Trench Coat. Now this is a lot of jacket for the price. Check that out. A long length ladies uh, trench coat style within a genuine sheepskin. Now the sheepskin is, is absolutely 100%. It's actually, this is the inside of the skin because this is the outside of the skin of the animal. So that's why you know that it's genuine sheepskin. Even the pockets have to be made the certain way. So because in order to put it together properly, as you can see here, a little toilet paper to go with it. Anyway, there's a great jacket, genuine sheepskin jacket. Now the regular price on this, well, you, you can believe it or not, check online with my competitors, $459 regular price for this jacket. But we have it as a steal of a price, ridiculous, below cost. Check that out. We have only a few sizes left. We'll take advantage of the deal while we can. Genuine sheepskin inside and out. It's got two front uh, pockets, side pockets here. It's a button up front with the fur collar. Really nice, long, very classic, very simple jacket. It's got the natural grain. It's got a little coating on the outside, so anything you spill on it could should usually uh, wipe right off. So you wanna make sure that you keep it nice and clean. That's why they did that to the outside of the skin, but it is a great jacket. Check it out for, for what a steal of a price. Right, Ryan? That's right. Okay, what else we got there to share? All right, the next item that we have to share is the Tough uh, Lady Cowhide Leather Jacket. 
This is it right here. Now, for a, for a steal of a price, we just marked this down. We we're talking about the markdowns. This is $99. It's a classic jacket just for the ladies. Very simple design with a shirt style collar, a heavy duty front zipper. It's got an inside a zip out liner, full sleeve zip out liner, which is nice because it's all the way down through the sleeve. I'm trying to show you, but I can't. All the way through the sleeve. <laughs> Hard to see. And it buttons about the, uh, just about mid uh, wrist right there, just before your wrist there. It snaps or buttons in place. And it's also got inside pockets. It's got inside CCW pocket on the one side. A CCW pocket, as you can see here, you can put your firearm in if you want to do that. Or it's a great large pocket for your cell phone or whatever else you want to keep in there. Cigarettes, vape pen, whatever the case may be. Jam and leather brand right there. We just found a bunch of inventory. That's why we're getting it, giving a, a discount. And we're putting it back out there for you. It's got the snap cuffs to keep, you, keep the wind out, keep you nice and warm. Super heavy buffalo leather for the ladies. Great jacket for the price. Check that out. Okay, Ryan, what else we got? All right, our next item is the white leather motorcycle jacket. Motorcycle jacket here. Look, look at Cupid there, stupid Cupid. <laughs> Oh, there he is again. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we used him in a lot of ads in the past. We called him Stupid Cupid. Anyway, Stupid Cupid wants to share with you this particular jacket right here. This is a great jacket. Now, we have four different white leather jackets for the ladies in our inventory right now. at the motorcycle style. Now, this one here is on special. And I got a couple of different versions for you. We got a lambskin version with no belt. We got the men's version. And we also have the ladies version, which is identical to this with the side lacing in both uh, in two different versions. Now, this particular one is a classic. Same, all the features are the same as the other one with one addition. Okay. It's only available in size small through 2X. It's all we have. And it's part of the reason why we put it on sale is because it's smaller sizes only. And not only does it have a gun pocket on the inside, which is right here, a CCW pocket right here to, ho to hold your piece in place. As you can see, it's got the black in there that actually is what uh, that holds the piece in place that it's for. But it also is great for a cell phone, whatever you need. But what's, what also, it's nice, what's also different about this one than the other one is the fact that it's a little bit narrower in the waist and it's a little bit larger on top. So this one here for the bustier women, it'll look really good on, but down at the bottom here, it's gonna be a little tighter. So if you need a little more room around the middle, like I do, as you can see, <laughs> this might not be the jacket for you. Check out the other one, the other version that we have. So check that out when you get a chance. It's also got the by swing shoulder, as you can see here, that gives you a little better reach when you're reaching for the handlebars, steering wheel, whatever the case may be. It also has got side lacing. You can put a collar lace in there, make it a little more interesting if you'd like. It's also got the snap down epaulets on the shoulder, which you can actually put your uh, shoulder decorations like chains or rope or whatever you want to do in there. It's also got snap down collars, so there's no flap in the wind there. Asymmetric front zipper, three zipper front pockets, and also has a small lighter pocket right there. Okay, great jacket for the ladies. You want something to take, take advantage of. It's really a good protection for when you ride or a really great jacket. I know it's out of season for, for the winter, but you know spring is coming and you want something that's going to keep you cool and black okay ryan what else we got all right the next item that we have is the premium heavy brown vintage deep pocket chaps premium 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 this is definitely one of the nicest pair of chaps that we've got it's in a naked uh cowhide leather it looks like to me I think it's a cowhide or a buffalo, either way, because they're both indistinguishably the same. But what's nice about this is a vintage brown. It's got a little bit of antiquing all over it, which is a, which is real popular these days. So check that out. It's also a pants pocket. It's got a really deep pocket right there, really super deep pocket in, in, on one on each side. And what's nice about the deep pockets here is because you can't get to your pants pockets of the front or the back pockets when you got a pair of chaps on because it's a little inconvenient or you have to take it apart in order to get to it so we have outside pockets which is a really nice feature it's got the lacing on the back as you can see here that can be overlapped or 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 uh, it's let out for if you need a little more room adjustable front buckle as you can see here adjustable front buckle with the for the for the for the belt it's also got uh, a, a nylon mesh lining, as you can see here, nylon mesh lining, and that's uh, it's nice and comfortable. It's also got a wind flap covering the, covering the number 10 zipper on the side, 
There you go, right there. Number 10 zipper all the way down. And it's got snaps at the bottom right there. That's the way you can cut it to the length that you need when you're, if you're purchasing and you want, want it the, the right length. It depends on the shoes that you wear and where you wear the belt. Because if you belt it a little high at the belt or below the belt, it depends on that, which was how much, how much length you might need to trim off. Most people have to trim. I'm five foot 10 I'm still trimming off an inch or two, okay? So there you have it. Really nice pair of chaps right here with the vintage brown. Limited sizes, so check out what we've got. Hopefully we have your size and you can take advantage of this markdown steel price. All right, right? That's right, markdown for $99. What a steal. Great deal, great deal. Okay, well we have a lot more $99 and $50 jacket deals that you should, you should take advantage of. So check those out on our website. And we just tell you, what's the website address again? shop.jamandleather.com shop dot now if you not if you don't want to memorize that you can go to jamandleather.com and any of the links there will bring you to the shop dot site now the shop dot site is actually our complete shoppable website whereas jamandleather.com is basically the home page and a lot of other information so check that out when you get a chance shop dot jamandleather that's j a m i n one m and jamin no apostrophe it's an r registered trademark okay ryan what else do you want to talk about oh we're going to talk about the different types of leather Ooh. leather now people want to know about leather because they, they're always curious as what's the difference between the leathers that are available now we'll talk about cowhide and buffalo those are the most prominent ones in the biker community but also you got lambskin sheepskin uh which is virtually the same tan the same feels the same uh reacts the same and can be tanned just the same same quality for each one so I use the word lambskin for both the sheep and the lamb so as I showed you earlier here we've got this is this is a sheepskin here it's with a shilling uh, natural outside but we we do it when they take off the hair then they have ability to make it available in you for your garments so we do a lot of lambskin items this is a this is an example of lambskin leather which is hard to tell but it is a vintage brown with a little bit of a rub on it for the for the guys and we have several different versions of lambskin it's really soft and spongy super nice and super comfortable as well so let me talk about cowhide first okay cowhide comes in several different types yes oh we actually have a question from someone sure in the comments you know from dg he was asking you know when ordering uh men's leather uh pants uh, uh do you order like regular jean size well, to be honest with you, when you order the pants from uh, in most of your leather jeans nowadays, you got to order the size that you are, not the size that's labeled in the pants that you have on, not the pants in your drawer, because they're always labeled, especially the ones in the past 10 years or more, men's, men's pants are also vanity sized. So if you physically measure yourself, the label might say 34, but you are probably a 36. If it says 35, you might be a 38. So you better check those pant sizes. So if you measure yourself, order the size that you are and not the size that it says in the labels. That's very important. So if you order a 34, you're going to get a 34 in the waist. If you get a 38, you get a 38 in the waist. That's our, that we ship to you. We will make sure it's at least 38, maybe 39, but it's going to be definitely 38 for sure. It will not be anything smaller than the size that you order. Okay? Yeah, that was some good information, but I think I may have also misinterpreted the question. I think he's talking about chaps specifically, maybe leather, putting a leather over pants. Leather over pants? Yeah. Okay, we got over over pants is a particular type of pants that would go over your jeans, okay? And over pants, uh, you want to order the size that you are covering. So actually, when you order a 34, the over pants will actually fit 36, actually measure for a 36, actually physically in the waist. So they have to because they're gonna cover your belt, they're gonna cover your jeans, they're gonna cover it all. So when you're buying over pants, quote unquote over pants, make sure that you order the size that you are covering, not the size that you are. Well, the size that you are, not the, <laughs> not the size that you want it to measure. If you want to be very specific, there's a little text box and when you order from us, there's a little text box you can tell us exactly your sizes and we'll make sure we get the right perfect fit for you so if you know your measurements or you measure yourself that's always wise to make sure to get you the right size when it comes to overpants and it comes to chaps it's a whole different story chaps have a lot of adjustment on the front and the back so you don't have to as long as you're one size close to the size that you need more than likely it'll fit you fine okay is that helpful 
Yeah, I think so. I think I answered oh. questions. You can let us know if you have any more questions or follow-ups. Absolutely. Just jump in if you have any questions. We want to hear from you. So we're here to help, but we know we have all we have a lot of the answers. Maybe not all the answers, but we do know a lot about the product. So we've been selling leather for over almost 50 years now. Wow. wow. <laughs> almost. Okay. Let's talk about the cowhide the differences. Now we got this right here. We got this is cowhide here. This is a classic, uh, this is actually a naked cowhide. If you can see the little bit of a grain on here, I'm trying to keep it focused for you. A little bit of a grain on here. This one here is a, is a little bit more of a natural grain. Now this is naked, and this here is a just a standard pebble grain leather right here. And it's a little bit more, uh, it's about the same. It looks virtually the same, but it's a little bit uh, firmer in its feel, but it's not so hard in any way, shape, or form. This is We make a lot of products to, out of both the regular and the naked so and you can see how it's a little bit a little bit softer in its turn and this one here's a little tougher and then you've got uh then you've got you got split uh cowhide too so let's talk about the cowhide differences when you talk about uh naked leather we don't use the word naked we use the word ultra premium on our website because why ryan because google bans naked <laughs> <laughs> Google don't like the word naked, okay? So we don't use this. So with Pultra Premium, if you're shopping jam and leather, you know what you're looking for there. Uh-oh, it's a message. <laughs> okay, so here we got the cow, you got the um, the cowhide here and the naked leather. And the naked leather is a little bit softer and it is a little bit more oily or feel. It doesn't have any oil on it, but it does have an oily feel, which is really super nice. The, the regular pebble grain does not have an oily feel to it, but it's really nice and very durable. The, both the quality is identical. Now, why do they call it naked? Okay, not just for the feel and the quality of the skin, but also the reason for the uh, the word the naked is because the skin has to be free of scars and bug bites. That's usually a common thing. So the better skins can be uh, naked, or the better cows that have a good skin on it will be more naked. So just so you know that naked skins are more of a premium skin and then they're less likely to have scars, whereas a regular cowhide might have scars and sometimes not I don't think in this case but sometimes they'll actually print a pattern over the over the scars so it's really hard to see now let's talk about uh, buffalo leather now, buffalo leather is very popular here's a here's a sample of buffalo I'm trying to bring it really close to you so you can see the grain difference okay see there's a lot of grain in here and the grain is what is the really the only difference between the quality of the skin the grain is uh, on buffalo leather is a little bit more grainier than cowhide, and it is a, a, a super nice uh, leather. It's virtually the same properties as cowhide, 100%. A little grainier instead of smooth grain like that. It's a little grainier, and it is that's usually the main difference between the two. Now, obviously, I picked actually a bad piece of, of grainy buffalo because usually they're almost indistinguishably identical. They almost sometimes look like that. So it really depends on the piece of the hide of the skins that they're actually tanning at that time. Another thing I want to talk about is naked leather. I'm sorry, I talked about naked. I like talking about naked, but that's a whole different story. Okay, now I'm going to talk about split leather. Now this here is split leather right here. It looks like a grained cowhide leather. It really is not a uh, premium leather by no means. It's a little bit harder. It's not soft at all. It's very, very firm. Okay. And the reason why they use uh, the, the split and what they do is uh, when it comes to when the skin comes off the animals, it's about three eighths of an inch thick or so. And they split it in half with a skiver and the skiver splits it in half. So you can have a one or two skins of suede or split and then one top grain. The top grain is what everything else is made out of right here, top grain, but the split leather is what they do, is that sometimes what they'll do is they'll take the split leather, instead of buffing it, making it suede, they'll print it and put a coating on it and make it look and feel like it's real top grain leather. But the quality of the skin is really not there, it's very hard, and we're trying to eliminate virtually every uh, split leather product out there. Now, sometimes they won't tell you when they're shopping online that it's going to be a split product. So you got to be careful. Make sure you check out the product that you're buying. And if it doesn't say split, it might be if it's really cheap because those cheaper jackets and apparel, they'll use the split leather. It can save some money and actually give you a great deal, even though you're not getting the quality. So it's something to keep in mind. Now, another option is goat skin. 
Goat skin is another product that's really great. Here's a sample of goat skin. Let me see if you can see, focus in on the grain. You see it there? Right. I'm, wa I'm waiting for it to stop focusing okay there we go anyway maybe it's too close okay but the goat skin is actually a tiny pebble grain uh, uh skin right there and what's nice about the goat skin is that it's really super soft and comfortable it's a very soft leather it's similar to a lamb skin but the difference between lamb skin and goat skin is that actually the goat skin is stronger than the lamb skin is a lot stronger it's not as strong as cowhide and buffalo but it is virtually very close it is a more comfortable skin it does have a different grain and texture to it also, as far as its uh, uh, color is a little bit uh, duller in most cases, but they have different versions of it as well. This is a naked goat skin, which is a little bit softer, a premium skin in goat, but it is a less expensive skin and you're and, and a very economical too. Now, one of, the, one of the most important one we do a lot more of these days is lambskin. And here's a sample of lambskin right here. It's a soft lambskin. As you can see here, it's a little bit of a spongier skin. It's a little bit of a spongier skin, and it's really nice, super soft and comfortable. As you can see here, it's a nice soft suede on the back, with the, and a nice. This is a nice low lust, uh, low luster type of skin, and it looks really good. We do a lot of our products on here. I showed you earlier the jacket uh, that's made of lambskin. This one here is made of the lambskin as well. And it also has, it, it's hard to tell that it's actually lambskin because a lot of the leathers, when they're finished, they look very similar to each other. But that's the lambskin because it's softer, it's more spongier, and it's a little more comfortable to wear. Like it's a little bit more comfortable to wear and it stretches just a little bit to make it more comfortable. Now, your premium goods, a lot of your really nice expensive leathers are made of lamb or sheep. And sheep and lamb are virtually indistinguishably identical. So, and they're tanned the same and they turn out to be and feel the same for the lambskin but one thing you have to worry about with lambskin lambskin does tear if you get it caught in something sharp so just keep that in mind it's the only thing don't think it's wrong with lambskin it's not that it's not the most comfortable because it is but it is uh, a little bit more fragile and less likely to be durable that you might expect that you might need okay and the last thing i want to talk about is deer skin didn't have a black one today, but I did find a brown deer skin that we had in our inventory right there. I only quickly looked, so there might be more back there in black. But anyway, the deer skin is actually uh, a little bit softer. Now, deer skin is very similar to uh, feel and look and sponginess as to the some of the lamb skin and the naked leathers. All the naked leathers are very similar. Now, deer skin is really nice and really comfortable, and probably the dur most durable of all of all the skins right there, especially for the thickness. Now, it's going to be the most comfortable. A lot of people do their their gloves in a lamb and deer skin to, because it's super soft, super comfortable, and good, and it gives you a nice, real nice grip when you're wearing it. Also, some of the fringe jackets you'll see out there, the expensive ones, made of deer skin as well. Deer skin's really nice. They're kind of expensive. We don't carry that much of it, but we do have gloves in it, so it's a great item, but it is uh, pricey. Check that out. If you want something really nice, lamb skin, even if you don't buy from jam and leather, check that out. Okay, Ryan, is there anything else you want to go over today? Uh, for today? No, I think we're good, right? Well, what about those words right there? Oh, those words. <laughs> ah, very interesting. Is it, is it weather weather by any chance? <laughs> I have to prompt him to say something here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's always leather weather. Did you know that, know that, Ryan? Oh, I didn't. Yes, it is always leather weather. It doesn't have to be the middle of the winter time because you know you're going to need a wallet. You're going to need a belt. You're going to need something else to keep you handy. And if you're a biker, you might want that leather vest or maybe a leather pants for a date out. Who never knows what you're going to need leather for? But it's always what? Leather weather. Thank you very much. Okay. Anything else? Oh, yeah. What if I'm looking for the best well, of everything leather? Well, for the best in everything leather, it's jam and leather. Right, Ryan? That's right. Okay, well, thanks so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate you hanging out. If you saw that first mistake, we're trying to make up for it now. So thanks so much. We'll see you next Friday, maybe even Monday. We'll see you. Take care. All right.